Determine the equation of the level curve for the function f of x comma y equals natural log of the sum of x squared and 4y squared for c equals 4. Write the equation in terms of y as a function of x. To determine the equation of a level curve, we set f of x comma y equal to c, and then in our case, we need to solve for y. Before we do this though, remember, each level curve is a 2D graph of the intersection of the surface given by f of x comma y and a plane z equals c, where c is a constant. For our problem, we have c equals four. Before we determine the equation of the level curve, let's look at this graphically. On the right, we have the graph of the surface given by f of x comma y, and these red curves are the level curves for the surface for various values of c, meaning these red curves are where the plane z equals the constant c would intersect the surface. And since we're looking for the equation when c equals four, we're looking for the equation of the 2D surface when the plane z equals four intersects the surface. And again, to do this, we set f of x comma y equal to c, which gives us the equation natural log of the sum of x squared and four y squared equals four. And now we need to solve the equation for y. To simplify the left side, we'll be using the exponent property e to the power of natural log x equals x. And since our equation is natural log of the sum of x squared and four y squared equals four, it follows that e raised the power of natural log of the sum of x squared and four y squared equals e to the fourth. And now the left side simplifies nicely to the input of the natural log function, which is x squared plus four y squared. We now have x squared plus four y squared equals e to the fourth. And since our goal is to solve for y, we will now subtract x squared on both sides, which gives us four y squared equals e to the fourth minus x squared. Next, we'll isolate y squared by dividing both sides by four. Simplifying, we now have y squared is equal to e to the fourth minus x squared, all divided by four. And now to solve for y, we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. But remember when doing this, we do need to include a plus or minus on the right. And now we simplify the square root of y squared is y equals plus or minus on the right side, the square root of a fraction is equal to the square root of the numerator divided by the square root of the denominator. And notice here, the square root of four simplifies to two. So our final equation in terms of y as a function of x is y equals plus or minus the square root of the difference of e to the fourth and x squared all divided by two. I hope you found this helpful.